welcome to my video today I am going to show you a pair of shoes that I bought during quarantine it's May 14th it's 8 30 p.m. Um, bought these shoes a couple weeks ago on sense and they have been like pretty much I mean I don't really go out a lot maybe to the grocery store but I'm not gonna be wearing like I wear like Birkenstocks with socks when I go to the grocery store but um, they have been kind of my like go-to like when I want to take fit pics and stuff and post on Instagram these are the shoes that I go to and they are the um, Nike Tailwind um, Air Max Tailwind and I got these in a white and orange color and this is my first time kind of getting um, a pair well, it's not my first Air Max but I don't currently have any other Air Max because I either like sold them or donated them it has become more of my style now than it was before so these are gonna be like my only pair of Air Maxes that I currently have and like, they're so orange but they're honestly like I don't know if you can really tell because of the lighting but they're they're super bright orange vibrant and white and that is like probably the reason that I bought these shoes is because they have some sort of white canvas on them like I said I bought these off sense these are called the white and orange Air Max Tailwind I think that's four four or five Air Max I don't know what is the IV for the Roman numeral <laughs> so these are the shoes on the website and they are $180 retail um, I did find these elsewhere for less expensive but when I bought these I had a 20% off they were doing like 20% off your entire purchase of sense I got these in orange because you know like summer's coming up if summer will exist in 2020 um, I don't think it will be because we're gonna be in shelter in place again for a while I think it's gonna be extended but I mean it's always nice to have like nice new things and I'm not really like a colorful person when it comes to clothing so I think this is a really good way for me to like make my way into buying more colored clothing or like segue my way into it still went with like a pretty basic like it's just white canvas shoe but it has that orange detailing and orange laces um it doesn't come with extra laces but i think it's fine like this just because with the white laces it's i don't think it's enough contrast between like the white and orange but it's kind of cool it reminds me of like a sunset and i really think these are gonna be like my summer shoe or like my go-to summer shoe I pair it with like white jeans like ripped jeans with distressing on them or um, like a white crew neck which I also bought during quarantine so these are gonna be my go-to summer shoes if summer does exist and if it doesn't then I just wear these in the house because I haven't really I like worn them once outside and then I disinfected them because you know that's what you do I haven't like really worn these out i took a couple of pictures which i'll insert here um i bought a six and a half and on sense it was 180 dollars retail and then like plus tax but they do free like two day expedited shipping which is pretty incredible because it's not from the u.s i'm pretty sure sense is like a european website um i bought on there a couple times already and like they always make sure to get your stuff on time which is really nice because i'm really impatient when it comes to buying stuff and I typically buy stuff that has like the faster shipping even though it's not necessarily cheaper um, but there was another option that I could have bought for maybe like 40% off and it would have been off Nike but I wouldn't have gotten them for like over a month because you know like the COVID-19 you know there's a lot of stuff going on right now that is pushing um, packages to being delayed and like I completely understand that but like for me I I don't know I don't want to have to go through the trouble of buying a shoe and waiting a month and then getting it and then what if it doesn't fit have to wait like another month to return it and like get funds back it's just not like really efficient for me so I, I just got it off sense and it was 20% off so the shoes I think they're really cool I really haven't um, seen anybody else wearing them like or more like I haven't seen a lot of people wearing them and that's kind of what I like about it because I think that they're gonna go back in trend soon which is like it's always nice to be like on top of trends right but this is totally out of my comfort zone and I I sent this picture of these shoes to like at least 10 of my friends and I was like you know like I really like this shape of shoe because it's not too chunky but it I mean like I think it's pretty flattering on a lot of people like even if you are shorter and like have a little bit stubbier legs 
I think this should be like okay and not to mention that they're just really comfortable overall as a shoe comparable to an ultra boost maybe not as cloud like or what they whatever they call it but I would say that these are like probably my most comfortable shoes um they're not comfortable enough for me to not wear socks though but never have I like worn shoes without socks unless they were sandals so I also don't recommend that because you can get blisters really easily. This is one of the pairs of shoes I bought during quarantine and I will insert some pictures of how I style it. Like I, my first thought when I saw these shoes, typically with most shoes before I buy them, I kind of try to picture in my head like, oh, what would I wear before I buy it? Because I don't really switch out my wardrobe a lot in terms of um, like the pieces I wear. So if I'm going to wear like a crew neck or something, I'm going to like need a bunch of colors of that crew neck and then pair it with like different pants like there's a lot of the same things in my wardrobe that are just alternate versions of each other which is um it's like buying the same shirt but buying it in like 10 different colors but yeah these didn't go on sale during census sale right now so you can still buy them i think on nike these run like pretty true to size i typically wear a six to six and a half in uh, women's shoes and five men's or four and a half men's which is like converts to six and then six and a half or five um but i don't really like i try to buy pretty consistently and i don't try to downsize or like upsize just because it's like cheaper than the other you know like in terms of buying on stock x or grail or goat just because um if you're gonna be like spending a lot of money on a shoe like you have to get like your perfect size or if you're able to work with it and like you got a juke or like you got a plug like I think then then it's worth it but if you're gonna be spending like I don't know if there's a $50 difference like just pay the $50 um, for the size because you don't want it to be like super uncomfortable or anything I got these in a shoe six and a half because these aren't like super sought out for they're just they're still on the website you can go buy them right now but um, yeah and they're super comfy and I'll just insert some like clips of me wearing them I picture myself wearing like maybe like those sweat shorts and like maybe a crew neck, something super simple, super plain on top and then like let the shoes kind of shine on themselves. I like definitely don't know if I would wear like long socks with this. Like I'm not a person that wears a lot of crew, what is it called? Like those ankle socks with the Nike like logo on them. I am just not that kind of person, but I can see a lot of girls wearing that with um, like gray sweat shorts, which have become quite gentrified if anything. Yeah, I, I really like these Air Max. Like I definitely, would get these in other colors like maybe there's like a, an all white pair or like they have this like white and like light green pair but i think this is an incredible shoe in terms of like comfortability i don't think you can really wear these with every outfit that you have like i definitely would not recommend wearing these with like a pair of skinny jeans um i don't think i would wear this with black either because then it would just remind me of like i'm like a walking halloween sign or something i would probably wear these with like wide leg pants or maybe pants that are kind of like go down straight and a little bit tapered but show a little bit of ankle i don't know i think these look really good with just shorts too but not maybe not like super tight denim shorts but more loose shorts um kind of like colettes i don't know i haven't really worn them out a lot so i'm just gonna have to like brainstorm some ideas of like how i'm gonna wear this shoe um but yeah, so yeah, that was one pair of shoes that I bought during quarantine. I've been kind of going on like this online shopping spree um, craze just because there's nothing to do at home. And like, I'm just imagining after we're all out of quarantine and we like go out, like all the fits that could be pulled off. Um, not that it matters right now, but like, I think a lot of businesses are struggling. So they're putting on a lot of big sales. So I've been buying a lot of stuff. And that was one pair of shoes that I bought that I kind of like bought on a whim just because I felt like if I had thought about it for too much longer, then I would grow sick of it. It's kind of like a lot of the clothes that I buy, I don't really wait to like think about it to buy it. Those are things that I, I think about like less in the long term because, you know, like I have a Poshmark, so I would just recycle and like upcycle all my clothes um, to people who would, you know, want to buy them or I just donate them. So this is the second pair of shoes I bought. I didn't want to buy these during quarantine, but I felt like the price is just too good for me to not buy them. And it is going to be my first pair of like high top Converse. 
I did have one pair before, so not exactly my first, but I don't have those anymore. I maybe had them for like a month before I resold them. And those are the CDG Play Converse um, in the off-whitish color. And funny because I ended up selling those because everybody started wearing them and I felt like it just got super trendy. And even watching like Frugal Aesthetic talk about like which meme, which brand or which trend has become the biggest meme, like CDG Play is just... It's just on another level of like memory. I bought these because I've always wanted them and I thought they were pretty cool. But the shoe that I'm talking about is the Converse Off-White. I got this box. I know it's kind of bright. You can't really see. Also, there wasn't even anything on that side of the box. So please don't mind me. I know my lighting is a... Uh... Okay, there we go. Maybe that's a little bit better. Um, I've worn quite a bit already. And you can kind of tell because they're like kind of dirty. But these, I feel like you shouldn't be paying more than like 300 bucks um, on stock X or Grail or Goat, whatever for, especially if they're used because like they're just regular normal Converse with writing on it and some kind of detailing on the on the rubber sole. I paid about like I think like 275 or 300 around that price, but for girls, I think it's a lot more expensive because or just smaller sizes in general tend to be either really expensive or really cheap um especially for like a collab and this was i think like 300 bucks i'm pretty sure yeah i got them new and i got them for 300 off goat and then there was some tax and shipping and whatever but like now that i look back right now let's actually see how much they are going for so we're gonna go on to stock x the reason i got these is because I'm pretty reckless with my shoes, so having the canvas version versus the vol volcanite, what is, how do you even say that? Volcanite, volcanized, vulcanized, um, those are like made of like a plastic material and I don't think I could pull that off honestly because they're clear, they don't, I don't really have like cool socks to wear with. So right now the lowest ask on stock X for a size 4.5 for the off-white Chuck Taylor is actually a lot cheaper than some of the smaller sizes, but um, it is $595, and I paid, I think, like, $275 to $300 off Goat, and on Goat, on Goat, if you were to buy them new in the size that I have, it's $835, and they don't even have a used version of that, so I feel like I got a really good deal on that, not saying that, like, should even pay more than like 200 or 300 dollars for a pair of converse just because they're just regular converse but i think that these are so freaking cool like i don't know i like stuff that looks like construction and isn't that the whole point of like off-white is to be deconstructed these look like construction shoes with this black paint detailing on the side and then uh, obviously just says like the um off-white Chuck Taylor all-star and then it says like Massachusetts 1917 yeah orange detailing right here this um, signature Converse all-star Chuck Taylor logo and on the shoelaces it says oops let's see the shoelaces it literally just says like shoelaces in quotes I beat them up pretty bad like honestly I feel like this is not, this is not how someone should treat their shoes, especially like if you, you bought them like brand new, but they're pretty dirty. Um, I put a sole protector on the back. So without this, it would just be orange like the rest of the shoe, but I feel like they will really run down a lot the more that I wear them. I mean, like you can even see in the back right here. I think that they are like the perfect statement shoe in terms of like for your outfit what are you gonna wear Oop. in terms of your outfit like what you're gonna wear um i think it's really good for like you could wear a sundress with this a white sundress and then have this shoe and then it would look cool or like just a pair of wide leg denim jeans i think that this would be a really good way to put together an outfit because you know like your shoes kind of do make your outfit you can't wear like birkenstocks with a supreme hoodie and shorts i mean like you could do it but it doesn't really make any sense kind of like takes away from your whole outfit I definitely need some work, but yeah, so bought these for $300 off goat. And when you buy stuff off goat, this is not my first time, they gave you like a little sticker. 
it's just basically it says go on the back um go verify authentication this came out in i think 2018 2018 or late 2017 i don't remember but i remember seeing this on my instagram feed and being like dang i really want to want to get a pair of those but not down to pay 800 bucks um and i don't think anybody else should be down to pay that much that is like rent for one month in san jose so the volatility on this is 17.4 percent volatility basically means how rapidly the price of something that will go up or down in terms of stocks um and if you have a lower volatility that means that the, the current price isn't really going to budge too much but if you do have a higher volatility then the price can jump up and down like a lot so this one is 17.4 percent uh, it's pretty average for most um collab shoes i would say a lot of jordan collabs have lower volatility because they're rare and they are also collabs and like a lot of collabs they they just tend to be like that because there's most likely a chance that they're never going to be made again a whole year 52 week high was 752 dollars and then a low was 380 and i got like even lower than that so that's really great I think people because they are getting their unemployment money and their um, stimulus checks that they are spending a lot more on shopping and people are able to buy their grails and shoes that they've wanted to buy for a while and clothes that they wanted to buy for a while but um that's just it's putting a lot of money into StockX aka like things are going to be more expensive because people have money which is really ironic because we're going to go into a recession very soon so that is the second pair of shoes i bought i am waiting on a third pair right now it is the new balance 827 um collab with aim leon dore wow that was really hard for me to say for some reason but yeah i'm just waiting on that pair of shoes been doing a lot of quarantine shopping lots of window shopping lots of regular shopping but a lot of the stuff is being returned because they don't fit or just like not what i pictured also waiting on the supreme marikami um covid19 relief bogo I am going to do a video on that one when it comes in the mail. Um, I'm filming this on May something. My friend got it for me, basically. He got it on manual. He got like three and he's selling me one. And I was going to resell it and donate the profits. But I have a friend who loves Mirakami. And I would feel so awfully um, terrible if I didn't sell it to him because he was trying to get it too. So when that comes, I'm going to... Do a video on it because i told him i would sell it to him if he let me like take a picture within like you know do my instagram thing but <laughs> that is what i bought um we'll see how it goes because i know the supreme marikami bogo is going for like 600 700 right now uh for a size medium and i got a size medium we'll just see because i know the small a size small right now on StockX is about like 800 to 900 and dude, I don't know. I don't know how much I can like justify paying that much for, for a BOGO. Like maybe if that was the initial price, like retail price, because all of the profits did go to COVID relief. Um, however, it wasn't. That's like the resale price. But when people resell on Grailed, apparently like all of the proceeds or like the profits that Grail makes from Grailed makes from people listing the Marikami um, collab that will go towards the COVID-19 health health relief too so it's great that they're taking part in donating and um, giving back when a lot of people are really in need of it right now shout out to the frontline workers hope everyone's doing safe hope everyone is staying healthy wear your mask disinfect everything before you bring it into your house and wash your hands and I guess I'll just see you in my next video. Bye.